Hey everyone, welcome to Break It Yourself. Today, we're taking a look at the Brio X-Series chair. Now, full disclosure, Brio did send me these two chairs free of charge, so I will not be making a recommendation in this review, but I am going to show you about this chair and I'm going to compare it to my Hollywood chairs as well as other products that I've seen online. Now, the X-Series chair is new from Brio. They have two colors currently, a gray and a black. I have the black version. One thing that you're gonna notice right off the bat is that these chairs sit much more upright versus a traditional Adirondack style chair. And the intent there is if you're sitting around a fire pit, that you're closer to the fire, you're not leaning back kind of further away. So you're gonna be able to feel that heat also, some people, if you think that the Adirondack chair is too far back or you have trouble getting in and out of the Adirondack style chair, you're not gonna have that issue whatsoever with that chair. So I think Brio was really going for this niche point in the market because there aren't many chairs like this currently on the market. The only thing that I've seen that you could compare it to is the Pollywood South Beach chair, which also sits more upright and the Brio looks a bit beefier versus that South Beach chair, specifically the legs. The legs on the Brio chair are pretty thick. The chair as a whole is pretty heavy. It's 50 pounds, which is on the heavier side for a chair for sure, but I will say it's very easy to assemble. So once you have it assembled, if you kind of get it where it's gonna to need to go, that would be great. I wouldn't recommend this if you're gonna be moving them around a lot, but if 50 pounds is no problem to you, then absolutely go for it. A couple things here. In the assembly, definitely be careful how you assemble the arms. This is the outside. This would go like this. So essentially the way that the arms are supposed to go is that they would be wider in the actual seat. You can swap the arms and they'll assemble just fine, but there's one way that you can assemble where the arms would jog inward and be thinner, or they can jog outward and be wider, and it's definitely the wider way. Another thing is that the backrest slots in to the seat, and I've seen some people have issues. There might be a manufacturing tolerance thing. I didn't have any issues with the first chair that I assembled, the second chair, very minor issues, kind of had to force it in there and then screwed everything together with the Allen key. I will also say if you're using a drill instead of an Allen key, it goes way faster. Allen key took me about 10 minutes for the chair. There's only four pieces to assemble. And then with the drill, I went way faster. I would say don't tighten these things with the drill. Do all of your screwing with the drill until it stops and then kind of hand tighten with that Allen key, so I would be careful. Now let's talk about price. These things are expensive at $389. Currently, this is for Memorial Day weekend, which is gonna be over by the time that you see this, but if Brio does have a sale right now, they're $364 a piece, and it looks like year round, if you're willing to buy six or more, they'll give you $100 off. So keep that in mind if you're looking for a bunch of these things. And that is $100 off the total order, not per chair. Now this Brio X-Series chair is made out of the typical HDAHP plastic that you're used to if you have polywood or something similar to that. So essentially just recycled plastic. It is made in the USA and does seem to be of good quality. I will touch on the weight again. My Adirondack Pollywood chairs, which are a thinner material versus the X-Series chair, they weigh in about 30, 35 pounds a piece, and this is 50. So like I said, it is on the heavier side. Another thing to note is that these chairs don't stack. Neither do my Adirondack chairs that I have from Pollywood, but also the X-Series chairs do not stack. One thing that's pretty unique about this chair is that it's gonna have some accessories coming in the future. So you'll notice underneath the armrest, there's a groove on each side and it's really funny. I didn't even notice it at all and had to do some research online. I found the accessories and then went back and was like, oh, there's a groove under here. My wife sits in the chair for three seconds, notices the groove and just differences in uh, things that we'll, that we'll notice. But something that's, that looks cool in these accessories is that they're gonna have a cup holder accessory coming and the one that looks really cool is a tray. So 
if you've ever been outside trying to eat and you don't have like a full table set up, you'll know the issue of like holding your plate, holding your drink kind of thing. And it looks like Brio might be trying to solve that with a tray that would go into that groove and attach onto your chair that would swivel out of the way. So that if you're cooking on the Brio fire pit or whatever, and you have food and drink outside that they can be secure in your chair, which I think is pretty cool. I'm also interested in seeing if I can make some kind of wooden groove that could fit in there to see if I can make my own. So go ahead and subscribe and stick around because I am going to be trying that in the future, probably towards the fall because it is insanely hot outside in Southeast Louisiana right now. You might have questions about how they handle different height of people. My wife is five foot three and she can sit in it with her feet flat on the ground. I also sit with my feet flat on the ground. This seat also has multiple slats in it. That's supposed to be for comfort. So it kind of like contours to you a little bit. That back is the three slat back. It does not curve around your back or anything like that. Plenty comfortable though. I'm used to that. Those are the kind of chairs that I had anyway. Also something to point out, if you're new to the plastic wood game, when they get hot and like sit in the sun, they do flex more and they do have a good bit of flex. So my Adirondack style chair, you essentially have the back of the chair and then you're gonna have this support kind of midway up and then you're gonna have that cantilevered portion and it can flex a good bit. On the Brio X-Series chair, I will say that your the brace that supports the back is only about a third of the way up the entire back of the chair. So that's a lot of like lever action that you can have on that. And that back will flex a good bit. Not that you should be putting tons of weight on the top of the chair, but there is a good bit of flex on the back of the chair. Now, again, the only thing I've been able to find that is similar is the Pollywood South Beach casual chair. It looks similar. I don't have it. I haven't been able to try it. It looks like you just sit more upright versus an Adirondack style chair. So I can't speak to that one, but I can just kind of tell you price wise, Pollywood is charging a base of 300. Depending on what color you get, it could add 20, $40 to it. So it's pretty comparable to this Brio X series chair. And I will say the Pollywood version weighs about 30 pounds and this weighs 50 to give you an idea of how much thicker the material is going to be on this X series chair. It is very sturdy. I've read online that it can accommodate up to 400 pounds. So it is a very strong, very sturdy chair. And I really do like that it sits you more upright for being around that fire. Cause that was one thing that I noticed with my Adirondack chairs is that I was just kind of sitting back and yeah, my knees might get some of that fire pit warmth, but I'm leaning so far back that kind of my torso and my face is much further away from the fire. I do like the kind of lounging of that. It is very comfortable, but it's not really conducive to cooking around the fire. I'd have to lean way forward on that Adirondack chair versus this one, you're just sitting upright, kind of perfect height, perfect position to be cooking or messing with the fire on your Brio fire pit. If you're finding this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe. We're almost to 50,000 subscribers and we're giving away free merch once we get to 50,000 subscribers. If you would like some free merch, DM me your address on Instagram or for better merch, you can send me a self-addressed envelope to this PO box, which will be in the description. Probably the best thing, no matter which brand you buy about this plastic wood, is gonna be so low maintenance, which is incredible. That's why I initially on my own went out and bought Pollywood. I was like, I want something that can just sit in the sun full time, get baked in the Southeast Louisiana heat, and I don't have to do anything. I don't have to cover it, nothing. It's not gonna rot, bugs aren't gonna get it, anything like that. That is the exact same with Brio as well. So I love that aspect. If you're new to this like plastic wood game, just know that it can sit out there. I had my Pollywood. I did a review after one year, so I let it sit in the sun for a year. I could not see any fading whatsoever. And I think you're gonna get the exact same from this Brio as well. And if it does get dirty, all you gotta do is use soap and water, scrub it a little bit, good as new. I mean, this stuff is absolutely awesome. I mean, I made a review of Pollywood calling it the best outdoor furniture. So go ahead and, and take a look at that if you're interested. Like I said, I can't decide for you. This is kind of everything I've noticed about the Brio chair versus a Pollywood style chair. So I'm gonna go ahead and link to the Brio X series chair as well as the Pollywood South Beach. So you can take a look and kind of compare. I think you're gonna find the Brio obviously 
is made much more for sitting around that fire and it's gonna be much more conducive to that. And I'm really excited about the cup holder and the tray coming in the future because I think that'll be really handy for even doing like s'mores or something like that around the fire or if you're grilling meat or anything like that, eating outside with that tray seems like a huge plus. So I'm really looking forward to that. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. I hope you found this video helpful if you are in the market for some really good outdoor furniture. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up and we will see you next time.